welcome to our third edition of the Celtic Tree Trail. Today we're going to talk about the pine tree. And if you have a look here, you have this magnificent specimen. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the back of the pine tree. And these are actually Corsican pines. And if you have a look uh, closely, you'll see that they're, it's very, very thick. And the reason the bark is so thick is actually to withstand the winter months and that's how they adapt and they survive. And here we have our pine cone. Now, as we were talking about the Celts earlier, any Celtic Druid high priest on their staff, which was really important, they would have one of these cones on top and this was really for fertility. Pine tree is an evergreen tree and it's this in fact is called the sweetest of the woods and the leaves are so tiny little tin leaves and these are full of vitamin C and they're good for alleviating a chest cough in the winter time and the scent of a pine tree is also um, meant to alleviate the feelings of guilt and I think manufacturers were really cool and putting it into cleaning products. So when a woman cleans the house or a man, they actually feel alleviated of guilt. Pine tree was also used in shipbuilding throughout the years. And one reason was the resin that comes from the pine would actually help to be water resistant. And then the tall, see how tall and slender the, the trunk is? These were used in ship masts. As it's an evergreen tree, it was used for protection and prosperity. Christmas trees are really only over 200 years old. The tradition of bringing pine into the house goes way, way back. And in the Germanic states and the Scandinavian states, they were always bringing um, pine trees and pine branches and uh, into their homes and they dressed them for the winter. 